Hey, what's up everybody? Tyler from 10thumbspro.com and you know a 7 Nation Army couldn't hold me down. I love Detroit. Longtime viewers know I'm a Michigan boy, Kalamazoo. Um, but I love Detroit, not only the hip hop, but Detroit's a rock city. So today we're doing one of our favorite native sons, Mr. Jack White, and we're doing the White Stripes, alright? I'm going to be showing you the riff in two different places, and I'm going to show you how you can use chords to harmonize it if you play just by the ukulele to make it feel a little more full, alright? This one's a lot of fun, so what do you need? If you're Patreon, you have a PDF in front of you, it accelerates your learning, it starts at just a dollar a month, links below, but at the same time, you don't need those to learn because the tabs are on the screen, everything you need is on the screen. All you need is that ukulele brain attention span, and a little bit of love for my Rock City, alright? Detroit, Rock City, Motown! If you have those three things, those four things, follow me on in and let's break this lesson down right now. Cool. Alright, so there's a couple ways to play this one. Um, I am going to start with the riff on the A string to kind of keep it more like what it would sound like on the guitar. And then I'm going to show you, you can add some chords to it. And then I'm going to show you the riff down here in a more familiar position um, and explain why I chose it up here as opposed to down there. But I'll, I'll give you the two ways to play it, okay? Alright, so the only real chords you're going to need for the tune... Well, let's, let's start with the riff. Let's start with the riff. The riff sounds like this. Alright, and that's the riff that plays through the entire verse. There is a little modification um, in the chords, but let's get this riff first. Pointer finger, 7th fret, A string, ba, 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 7, 7, 10, 7, 5, 3, 2, 7, 7, 10, 7, 5, 3, 2, And that's what's playing throughout the entire um, verse. Now, when you get to the chorus, he opens up with some power chords. We're not going to play power chords, but you'll hear riff B. All right, and riff B sounds like this. All right, so riff B. The only real difference is before you go from this three to two, it slides up to five, back to three, and then to two. Now, if you can do that all in one hit, it sounds good. The sustain on the ukulele is not too much though, so you could do it like this. Alright, really slow. Alright, and that's the part that's playing when he opens up with the power chords in the chorus. Okay? So you would do that back and forth. Let's, so let's do those two riffs. We'll do riff A, riff B, riff A, riff B. We'll do those two times. And so that'll function as the chorus. Now, um, we can make it a little more interesting. Well, and then after that, you're going to go G down, down strums. Um, so we're going to need a G chord and an A minor. You're going to do down strums on G chord eight times. One and two and three and four and. Same thing on A minor. One and two and three and four and. And then right back into. Now this A minor, I've also seen it played as A major, but it's really, he's playing an A power chord, which would look something like this. But for the ukulele, I think it's better if we go G to D, all right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then back into the verse. Now, let's say we want to add some harmony to this. We could play something like this. So I, at the end, I did the second riff, but let's go ahead and break it down riff by riff how we're going to add the harmony first. If we bar all of the 7th fret, we have an E minor 7, and we get that note at the bottom is in our riff. We want that to shine through, so we're going to play all those chords, and pluck 7 again, up to 10, 7, 5, C chord in the bar shape, which is going to be 3, 3, 4, 5, and then you move this shape half a step down, everything down one fret, and it becomes a B. 
So that really slow. Is also going to work, all right? That's going to sound great. Now, okay, now if you want to do use this harmony for Riv B, it's going to sound like this, nice and slow. Okay, so that's going to be a little more tricky because when we get to that C chord, after we strum the C, we're going to have to pull these two fingers off while I keep that bar, then go five, three, and then back to the B. So Riv B really slow. Okay, so let's go ahead and do riff A and riff B back and forth, like we're doing the verse, or like we're doing the chorus, because remember the verse is just riff A. Let's do riff A, B, riff one and two, um, back and forth. We're gonna do that two times, and then we're gonna go. Back into the verse, okay? So that looks like this. So that would be the chorus. Now that's both riffs with the harmony. We can play the riffs down here and it would sound like this. Ah, so now you know why I chose the riff to move it laterally because the lowest note in this um, riff is a B note. And with most ukuleles, we don't have a low G. Now if you have a low G, the riff you could play it just like this. <laughs> but I don't have a low G on this ukulele, obviously. So an alternative for that, if you want to do that riff, would be finishing with the B chord, like this. Alright. Riff 2 would look like this. Essentially the same thing. Alright, so that would work. But we could add more harmony to that as well. We could play something like. Alright, so over that C note, again I'm playing the C chord, then the B. So that's gonna go E minor chord, four on the C fret, four on the C string. 3 to E string, 4, back on the uh, C string, 2, C chord, B chord, right? I forgot the C chord, sorry. Alright, that also works. Now when you want to do riff 2 in this style, you're going to do it like this. Which is actually a little easier than the other way because what I'm doing is when I go and I strum that riff, I have my pointer finger here available and I can just grab that second fret, open to B. So riff two, nice and slow, would be. Okay, a little more up the speed. And then, of course, now, in the verse, you're just doing riff one. And then in the chorus, it's going to go riff one, two, one, two, and then. All right. So let's go ahead and let's play the um, chorus. We're going to go riff one. One, two, one, two, and then we'll do the down strums on our G and our A, and I'm going to do it in this position here, okay? So here we go.
rifts in two places and how you can harmonize it. So you have some options with this tune, all right? Um, he takes the fat, nasty solo, when he plays it, he's going to go ahead and play through it. He's mixing kind of some E minor and A minor ideas if you want to jam on it as well, okay? He also is playing with a slide. Let me see if I've got a slide laying around. You could do something like... If you want to. Now, I would use a bigger ukulele than a soprano. If you wanted to, all right? That's just an option, okay? All right, so that is Seven Nation Army by the White Stripes. I hope you dig it. TenThumbsPro.com, everybody. Until next time, keep on rocking and rolling. All right, so now you got it. You got the tasty riff in two places. You can sing along it. You can play with the chords. You can harmonize it. You can do whatever you want. What a fun song. Jack White, thank you for all the great tunes. Thank you for representing Michigan to the finest. Thank you for coming home, and, you know, actually, my mom saw Jack White one time in DTW, the Detroit International Airport, and she goes, I love your music, and he said, thank you. That was it. And the other day, too, he came into Kalamazoo and had a hamburger at Louis, Louis Trophy House and Grill, best open mic in Kalamazoo, and uh, just ate a hamburger like a normal dude. No posse, no entourage, just came in and had one of Kalamazoo's finest burgers. Rock and roll, Jack. Thank you, man. All right, everybody, and until next time, new ukulele every Wednesday and Saturday. Facebook, we're on there. Instagram, we're on there. Patreon, we're on there. Uh, photos are links below. Subscribe and learn. Take care, everybody.